Hello everyone, welcome back to the PHP series. In the last video, we discussed how to access HTML form data using PHP script. In this video, we discuss what is cookie, how to set cookie, and how to access cookie, and how to remove cookie in PHP. So let's start. So what is cookie? The definition of cookie is cookie are the text file store on client computer and they are used for tracking purpose. Now we discuss how cookie works. Let's understand from diagram. So here we use working diagram of PHP. Here when we request PHP script from client browser, then web browser send PHP script and set cookie into client browser. And from next time browser sends any request to web server, then browser sends those store cookie information to the server and server use that information to identify the user. Now next is how to set cookie to client browser in PHP. So PHP has set cookie function to set the cookie. The syntax of set cookie function is so here. So as you can see set cookie function has six parameters. Let's discuss all parameters one by one. First is name. Using this parameter you can assign cookie name. Second is value. This parameter assign data to a specific name cookie. In simple words value means data for your cookie. Next is expiry. Using this parameter you can specify when your cookie is inaccessible. You need to specify time in seconds. If you not provide any time then cookie is removed when cl you close your browser. Next is path. It specify the directories for which the cookie is valid. A single forward slash permits the cookie to be valid for all directories. Next is domain. It is used to specify the domain name. And last one is security. It specifies how to send cookie data to server. I mean by HTTP request or HTTPS request. If you say set 1 as a value then cookie send by HTTPS request and if you set 0 as a value then cookie sent by HTTP request. Let's understand from program. So first we set the cookie using set cookie function. We set two cookie one for name and second for age. First we set cookie for name. So we write set cookie function and pass name as a name of cookie. We show as a value of cookie. We not provide any value for expiry argument. For path argument, we write forward less. We also omit the domain argument. And for security, we pass zero. So here we set name cookie with visu as a value. When we close the browser, this cookie is deleted because we not set any expiry value. This cookie is valid for all directories because we write slash and this cookie send data using HTTP request because we set zero as security. So let's set the second cookie age. So let's write it. So let's save the program and see the output. As you can see cookie is set. Now we access the cookie. To access cookie PHP provides two variables dollar underscore cookie and dollar http underscore cookie underscore VARS. So here we use dollar underscore cookie variable. So let's write a script for access the cookie. 
So here we declare two variable name and age to store cookie data. Now we write dollar underscore cookie function to access name cookie. We pass name as an argument and to access age cookie we pass age, age as an argument. The using method of dollar underscore cookie function is similar to a dollar underscore post and dollar underscore get method. Now we print both variables using echo statement. So let's save the program and see the output. As you can see, cookie data is printed. Now we see how to delete the cookie. Here, our cookie is delete when we close the browser because we not set expiry argument. But if you want to delete cookie manually, then we need to call set cookie function with date that has already expired as an expire value argument. Let's understand from program. So he call set cookie function. We pass name of cookie. We omit value of cookie to set cookie. For expiry, we call time function minus 16. So here time function return current time and minus 16. We remove 60 seconds from current time. So here we get a time which already passed. We set slash as a part. Omit the domain value and set 0 as a security. So here we try to delete name cookie. So let's save the program and see the output. You can see cookie is removed. To check cookie is removed or not, we execute a program which we write to access the cookie. So let's run it. As you can see, only age is printed because we remove name cookie. If you have any doubt, then comment us. If you like this video, then like it, share it, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.